Hello everyone. Uh, so I wanted to make a quick video on a little project that we're working on for Petabridge right now, which is we're setting up a little home lab in our office to be able to do some long-term observation testing on Aka.net. So it's all Linux and Kubernetes based. Uh, we're basically trying to do this in order to observe things like stress, version tolerance, idle CPU testing, all sorts of stuff that's really good to be able to go ahead and observe over long periods of time using like uh, real cloud monitoring tools and stuff, but it's cost prohibitive to do that on an actual public cloud. You're better off buying hardware and just doing it in-house if you're going to be running it continuously and you're not serving live traffic, which we are in this case. So I bought a pair of Raspberry Pi units uh, and got them all set up yesterday. And one of the things that I wanted to be able to do is actually run .NET tool. So we use Command, for instance, and I wanted to be able to go ahead and actually run the .NET compiler tool chain. Well, it turns out that a lot of the literature I found online for how to be able to actually get .NET installed on a Raspberry Pi was either out of date or was missing some key steps. So I figured I'd go ahead and make this video. So the first thing I'll point out is that Microsoft's own documentation will very detailed for reasons I don't totally understand installs .NET 7, which <clears throat> isn't the latest version of .NET. It doesn't have long-term support and is due to be deprecated later this year. So didn't want to do that. I saw some other people running some like custom scripts and first party stuff. And I didn't really want to go down that road either. So what I ended up doing is I found uh, Raymond Smiths went ahead and wrote a gist on how to install Donna 8 and Raspberry Pi using the official Donna install scripts. That's good. Trust those. And his, his instructions were really good. But there was one key detail missing, which I added down below here which is to make sure that the .NET tool install area is supported on the path. I have to do this all the time in Docker containers that ship with petabridge.command installed in them. That's uh, what this does right here, PBM. And I just went ahead and added one extra step to go ahead and allow us to make sure that we source our uh, bash RC files, always go ahead and include the .NET install directory and the .NET tools directory whenever we're trying to run command line executables. So I've gone ahead and I've already just run the script. I'm using a tail scale to SSH into one of these machines. Uh, looks like my install went through successfully. Now bear in mind, the way the script works is it's gonna install .NET locally for just this user. It's not installing it globally throughout the entire machine. I'm totally okay with that, even though it takes up a little bit extra disk space. If I have other uh, logins that are allowed on this machine, I only have two that are allowed via tail scale. Uh, that's, a, that's fine. So I just went ahead and I ran that script. I haven't done anything else yet. Let's see if the .NET command works. Hmm, okay, currently does not. Let's take a look at our bash RC profile real fast and see if I can, let's see, go ahead and do my bash RC. And lo and behold, yes, we are missing the two commands that I included down here. So let me go ahead and grab those. This will go ahead and add the .NET install directory and also the .NET tools directory to our path. So I should be able, there we go. Go and run that. Let's reinspect the file. Looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and source it. And if I run .NET, there we go. Now .NET's working. That's great. I can go ahead and do, uh, let's see, .NET list SDKs. I've got uh, the latest version of .NET 8 installed. That's great. Let me go ahead and try making sure this works across logouts real fast. All right. So I'm going to log back in again via tail scale. We'll do .NET, in fact, list SDKs. Booyah, still works. All right, now let's go ahead and do a .NET tool install. Let's do a tool install gpbm, command. All right, we'll let that go. PBM 1.41 was installed. Let me try running it. All right, and uh, there's nothing on the other end listening to PBM instructions right now, but it does all work. So that's great. So that's how you can go ahead and get Raspberry Pi uh, configured to run the latest version of .NET and have everything all work correctly for whichever user you're currently logged in as. I'll include a link to this gist in the description, but otherwise, please like and subscribe. Thank you.